Hey guys, Alex here. So today I want to talk to you about my August favorites. I can't believe August is already over and this year is just going by so fast. So let's get right into it. First, I'm going to start with beauty products. I'm going to start with my brushes first. There are two brushes that I've absolutely been loving this month. First is the e.l.f. blush brush. It looks like that. And this is like $3, so worth your money. It's perfect. I use it to like set underneath my eyes. You can use it for blush. Personally, that's not what I use it for. But it's great for setting powders, and I absolutely love it for that. My second brush is my favorite blending brush on the face of the earth. I swear, it's amazing. It's the Morphe M139 brush. I use it in all of my tutorials. And I'm sure you guys have seen a lot, but I love it. So now... Um, to, I don't have that many makeup favorites this month, just because I haven't, I got so much new stuff, probably a little bit less than a month ago, and so I haven't really had time to try all, like, I've had time to try all them, but not, like, use them enough in order for them to become a favorite, so I didn't want to include them in this video, but I'm sure they will be popping up in next favorite videos, but I have been loving my Wet n Wild Color Icon Contouring Palette, looks like that, and it doesn't really have, like, Oh, it's in Dulce de Leche, and I love it. It's, I don't, the whole reason it's my favorite isn't because of the bronzer, it's because of the highlighting shade. It is so pigmented, it comes off on your hand like that. I mean, it's, it's wonderful, and it highlights so well. Not like highlight, like glow highlight, but it illuminates your face a ton. Next, I have my mascara, which I know you guys will not be surprised about this. This is the Rimmel London Scandalized Curve Alert Mascara. Looks like this. The brush looks like this. It is amazing. I love it. And it makes my eyelashes so nice and voluminous and black. And it is my go-to. I wear it almost every day. Except for today, of course. When I have to talk about it, I don't choose to wear it. That's me for you. Then I have a scent that I've been loving, and I believe I told you guys this in my uh, back to school essentials, and this is a perfume that I got, that my sister got for me in France, and I love it so much. It's called Il d'Amour, the Island of Love, and it looks like this, and it smells so good. You know, I'm not wearing any, so I'm going to just help myself, but oh my gosh, I love the smell of it. My boyfriend tells me it smells like hairspray. I don't care. Love it so much, and I think it smells bomb. Okay, now for my last beauty product. I have this product I got at Lush, and it's called the Mask of Magnanimity. It looks like that. On the inside, it's green, and it has these little um, beans in it. Let's see. It says, packed full of peppermint, kaolin, and scrubby aduki beads for deeply cleansed skin. It is... I swear, cleanses so well. It The peppermint makes your skin feel so cool. And after a long day, or I know I've been outside a lot, and my face just feels really gross, slap this bad boy on, and it makes my face feel so smooth. It feels divine. And it's, I mean, it's not even for your face. It's a body mask, too. So if you have a really dry part of your skin, I remember when I tested it at Lush, they put it on my hand, and it made my skin so soft. So if you need a new, like, face mask... Um, go to Lush and get this one. Now for one of the best favorites of all time, food. I have three food items that I have been absolutely loving. First, I found these Nature Valley Soft Baked Oatmeal Bar Squares. And the one I love is the, um, Dark Chocolate and Banana Bread. This one's the Peanut Butter one. I actually haven't tried the Peanut Butter one, but we were out of the Dark Chocolate and Banana Bread because... Um, I ate them all, but just just pretend that's what this is, and it is so good. I have it as a snack every single day between breakfast and lunch at school because I get really, really hungry because I get up at 5.15 every morning, and so it is an absolute essential and a favorite of mine, and I think it will be for quite a while. Next, I discovered these crackers this month, and I swear, if you don't have these crackers or have not tried them, you need to go to the store right now and buy them because they are amazing. My whole family loves them. We've bought like four family size packages because they're freaking awesome. This is the chicken in a biscuit. Oh my gosh. In the taste, I swear I want to eat some right now, but it's only like 10 45 in the morning. So I, I feel like I shouldn't yet, but they have like, they're not just normal cracker. It's like a cracker with like it has like a seasoning on it. It's so good. Super, super good. But warning, addicting. And my last 
food is actually a candy or a chocolate bar when i went to europe this summer they had this candy all over and it was called kinder bueno and it's not really available here in the states but if you go to like special candy stores they will usually have this and so it looks like this it is uh oh gosh none of it's in english i must have not bought yeah i didn't buy this one they sold this all over Europe, and I bought some in um, England, I bought some in France, but I think I, I believe I got this one in Germany or Austria, so it's all in German. But basically, it is a chocolate outside with a hazelnut spread on the inside, and I swear, like, I'm not even that huge. Like, I like chocolate, but I'm not just going to sit here and eat a chocolate bar. This is the best chocolate bar I've ever had, so definitely a favorite for this month. And of course, I bought like a 10-pack in Europe, so I plenty to get me through. So another favorite I have is clothing. This, my mom and, um, um, she went to Arizona this summer and she came back and she brought me this sweatshirt and it says 1902 Sedona, Arizona, Fine Goods, Red Rock County. It looks like this and it is literally my favorite sweatshirt. It's like one of those, well, okay, it's technically a hoodie, but it's one of those hoodies that like feels so soft and it's light enough that if you... If you want it to be like a heavy jacket, it can be. But if you want it to be light, it can be. It's one of those really weird things that like is are warm, but it's breathable yet. And I love it so much. It's cute, it's comfortable, and it, I mean, you don't feel like you're wearing like a bulky sweatshirt. You feel like you're wearing an adorable outfit. Plus, it keeps you warm. Because I swear, my school is like a meat locker. It's freezing in there. And it's like, it could be 90 degrees outside, but it's still to wear jeans because it's so cold. So this is my last favorite, and I know it's kind of a weird favorite, but it's actually a picture frame. I got this picture frame in France, and I mean, every day looking at it just makes me so happy. I love it. So this is my picture frame, and I got it in Paris, and it has, it's so cute. It has like the little Paris heart, and then it has like the Eiffel Tower, the um, Arc de Triomphe, the Notre Dame, the Sacre Coeur, a little wind windmill, and that has like this little couple at the bottom. And then I have a picture of me and my boyfriend in it. And this, I swear, it makes me so happy. It's such a beautiful picture frame. And it only cost me like 10 euros. And it was such a good investment. So I'm definitely going to be keeping this for a long time. So thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And stay tuned for ones to come. Thanks guys. Have a great day.